YouTube. What is up with y'all today? This Nail good fella, good fella Nail, coming through with another sneaker rotation for the weekend. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know the routine. Y'all know what I do. Yes, definitely fresh with the pastel colors going on, man. You know, and then like have a light, you know, blue jean with it. But yeah, definitely something. Even turned a few heads. You see that, man? Just a few basic colors. You know that pull the, you know that's that flow with each other, and you know it is what it is, and people' heads is turning. No brand, no particular brand, but anyway, this is the sneaker rotation. It's not a clothing video, obviously. Um, jumping off into it for Sunday, I end up rocking the Hair Seven. And of course, y'all already know how that look. The Hair 7 joint. Definitely a spring shoe. I mean, you look at this. The Bordeaux 7 is actually more of a fall shoe to me. Now, you can wear it year-round. You know, it's no set rule. But as far as, like, coordinate with colors and stuff, this shoe is definitely one of those colors, you know, because white is popular in the spring and stuff like that. So, um... The hair, the Jordan Hair 7, definitely nice for the spring, summer, maybe the fall, and uh, I don't know. I, I might say winter, depending on your climate, obviously, but uh, of course I need to clean these up a little bit. I don't do too much damage with mine, but yeah, that's for Sunday, the Hair 7. And you know what? It's weird, because it don't even feel like an Olympic year really too much, but maybe once the stuff get in full swing, it'll probably feel like an Olympic year. So in honor of that still, this is still an Olympic year. The Olympic 7, definitely a fly kick. This is one I know people is waiting to remaster and retro, and I'm not even going to lie. Like, I know the remaster one, even if, even if the remaster one is like, you know, like a French blue or something like that, or something like, you know, the, with the quality or whatever, then that will definitely knock this shoe out the park. Like, you know, this the twenty the 2012 version, and uh, yeah, man, um, but, I mean, you know, mine's got a little bit of wear on it, but not in a bad way, but it adds that character, man. I'm going to have to do a video on that too soon, probably, like, growing old with your sneaker collection, or, or mature sneaker collection, I should say. Because uh, you definitely ease up on a lot of things. Like, if you just started or whatever within the past year or so, to the younger, you know, to the newer people or whatever, you probably a little bit more uh, sneaker OCD. And, you know, you probably got a little peeves or whatever. But within time, all that stuff kind of, like, go away. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yep. Here, I mean, Olympic 7. And then some rain came and messed up my flow, so I decided to wear this joint again. Like I said, it's my little go-to boot for the rain. You know, nothing major, <clears throat> but if it's just like simply raining, a nice low-top boot. You know, everything don't have to be a high top like a Timberland or another Ralphie boot. I just wanted a nice little low-cut joint. Like I say, this is this is one of my little go-tos. Always go-to, so I wore this on Wednesday, Thursday. This is one of the forgotten, uh, this is one of my forgotten spring essentials right here. I mean, if you look at this color right here, we in the dead middle of spring right now. If you look at this color right here, I mean, that, that color just definitely screams spring. You know what I mean? To the point where they should have damn near, the nickname for the shoe, instead of Turbo Green, should have been Scream Spring. You know? Uh, as a matter of fact, when these drop, I think these actually did drop around spring or something like that. I don't know, but... Well, every time I look at this shoe, spring come to mind. Don't nothing else. You know, I don't... This is the only time I really wear this shoe the most around this time. But it is what it is. You know, like the fall and all that stuff. Maybe the summer, this is cool or whatever. But, and, you know, with this colorway, not too many people... Or you'd be lucky if somebody even knew about the AirTech Challenges anyway. But, well, these the AirTech Challenge 2s, Turbo Green, technically. You'd be lucky if somebody even know about... Uh, this color because usually a lot of people just know about the hot lava maybe the clay joints and that's it but uh i got another spring colorway of this too like the poison green joints i should wear those next week uh or this new week coming up so definitely fly 
and this is definitely a forgotten spring shoe same thing with the menthol air max 93s and stuff man i probably could have went on for days as far as like my key spring essential kicks but thursday i end up wearing a nike air flight 89 yes yes if you thinking what i'm thinking you're right it almost looked like the oreo 4 but it's not um this right here is actually not a white. It's more like a zen gray, as they call it. And it's a little bit lighter than a cool gray. But in camera, it appears as white. I remember some people get their panties up in a bunch because they was like calling them like poor man fours. But it's like, it is what it is, man. It looked like a four. You know what I'm saying? It came out around the same year, 88, 89. But what's still fly about this is that the air flight is in cursive on the top. Um... And basically, it has this whole Jordan 4 lineup, like, me it's so, really, like, it's definitely fly to me. And the toe box is nice and clean. I like this one because it's definitely masculine with the color with the whole black. I could just kind of get the Oakland Raiders kind of like, you know what I'm saying, jumping off. And, uh, you know, not every kick has to be colorful, you know what I'm saying? Just like my clothing, I like some bright kicks with different prints and colors and stuff. And some of them I like dead serious like this. So, you know, when I feel like wearing all black or whatever and throwing these on or something or some red kicks to pop or whatever. But anyway, this kick brings it back to business. So this is what I wore also, too. I know sometimes when I be doing my what's the name, uh, my sneaker rotation, sometimes it'd be like a sneaker review for y'all. But I don't want it to be too long again. But So that was for Thursday. Yes, right along with the True Blue 3. I'm trying to wear these before people get these in their hands, probably within a few months. If these are still dropping or whatever, um, I remember at the top of the year they was talking about these dropping. And that is the Black Metallic 5 Jordan, of course. This is the ones from 2011. I remember when I first got these joints, they was nice and icy blue. Now they're nice, a nice aged piss yellow. I love it. And the netting is starting to yellow as well definitely a beautiful thing mature kicks is definitely what's up um man i mean if they if they make if, if they re, if they remaster this they gotta make that that new buck or dura buck on there well they gotta make that new buck on there way softer if they don't use suede like more of a long hair because like this one they knocked it out the park and this was before the remaster series it's like you could swipe your finger and it's still you know it's still it's crazy like you can see the, your finger on there and this was from 2011 there was no rush of getting these you know website didn't crash it probably lagged just a little bit but everybody still got their pairs august 2011 i remember like yesterday ordering these from the couch <laughs> um i do got the lace lock with them you know they got the real ones but yeah definitely fly and of course mine got the jordan on the back but i still love them 23 on the side definitely still fly this is the second time these have retro in 20 and uh since this shoe has been in existence since like the og joint because i think the first one the first retro came out in like 05 or something and these 2011 so probably about now i'm thinking about it like a five or six year span i won't be surprised these come out this year or next year or the year after but they kind of keep up with like releasing these this is a classic Last but not least, since everybody was wearing their emeralds and jades and all that stuff, you know, I've seen it on YouTube. I'm, I'm a regular subscriber like y'all as well to some of the leading YouTubers or whatever. I'll be lying if I say I'm not. They came out with, they, um, you know, they was gifted, they champs. Air Griffey one, emeralds, emeralds. And so many people calling them other stuff. Salt waters, sea waters, fresh waters, they're emeralds. And back when they came out in 2011 or 2012, because they came out with a nice little line of colorways for that shoe. They came out with the Cincinnati Reds colorway, Freshwater colorway, the all black one, the blue one. Uh, it's kind of like an OJ colorway. OJs, Toronto OJs, I think. Or Toronto OJ. What am I saying? Toronto Jays, I think. That baseball team is kind of like that color. Except with like a, no, no, I take that back. It's like a Seahawk kind of like color because it had a green and a white and blue, but whatever. I ended up wearing this, the Griffey 2. And this is the freshwater colorway for the Griffey 2. It's not emerald. It's not nothing. It's freshwater with this one. Um, 
Now I can see why they call it the emeralds um, of seawater or freshwater because they almost look similar, but uh, the Air Griffey one that if you haven't seen it yet that everybody has been gifted from Champs basically is the uh, emeralds or you could call them the jades. Just FYI. So rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. And before I head up out of here, let me show you this kick one good time. Because I don't, I don't usually wear this kick that much. And you guys probably like, man, that shit look hard. But yeah. And usually I'm the type of guy that like clean toe boxes. I actually didn't care that this toe box was. I think it's flat. Like it just looked like a diamond going up. And it's like a silver kind of like piping on the side. Carbon fiber uh, on this side. I mean... This guy, you know, his shoes, crazy, crazy. And I was comparing this to my Nomo I showed you guys like a week or two ago. And yeah, man, it's like definitely fly, definitely classic. Hope y'all enjoy my sneaker rotation. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail. I'm out this joint. Peace.